Hi Spiders, welcome to our Black History Month Spider Spotlight. I am so excited to be here with Coach Ebony Tanner Moore, who played here for the women's basketball team. She is currently the head coach for the St. Augustine's women's basketball team, and she is bringing us a ton of knowledge and experience today. Coach Ebony, thanks for joining me. Glad to be here with you, Jay. Awesome, so we're gonna jump right into it. Um, one of the first questions I have for you I know you were a student athlete here, but you were also a coach. Um, and so I would love to hear, you know, what was your favorite memory as a student athlete, as well as what was your favorite memory as a coach? So as a student athlete, one of my favorite memories was always preseason. So for four years, Jade, I was supposed to make a mile in seven minutes and 15 seconds. To this date, I have not run a mile in seven minutes and 15 seconds. So every preseason, I would be out on the track, with the football team during extra conditioning. Um, it just became a ritual. I wasn't gonna make the mile. So every day up until October 15th, I was on the track doing extra conditioning. Right. So, hey, so I've been there. I understand. I completely understand. Exactly. That's awesome. No, I, I can totally resonate with that conditioning uh, struggled too. So <laughs> I'm with you there on that. So um, what was your favorite memory or experience as a coach? As a coach, it kind of, I would have to say I have a little bit of a player mentality in there too. So as you know, every four years we do a foreign tour. So as a player, that was my first time to go overseas, to go to Europe and get that experience of things that I only learned about in books. So as a coach, I was able to be there when it was my players first time. And on our last trip, when we went to France, Germany, Belgium, Norway, I was able to take my mother. Um, so now that door opened for my mother. So the door was open for me. The door was open for my players and the door was open for my mother to be able to go on a foreign tour that the university provided for us. That is awesome. I'm glad you all were able to have that experience together. Um, in your role as a Black um, woman and, and as a Black coach, what is some of your biggest challenges um, as well as what are some of your biggest triumphs? Okay. I would say some of the biggest challenges would be finding a way to be understood and not labeled as having an attitude or being angry. And I think that is something we work through not only in sports, but we work through it in life. And I think that once we find that balance and we get around people that understand we want to get our point across, I'm not being angry. I'm just trying to get business taken care of. Um, I feel like we all work together a little better. Another challenge would be we're all coming from different places. My players are all different. I'm different coming from a different place. And we have to find that balance of working together and realizing we're all on the same team. At the same time, one of the triumphs of that is once we figure it out, now it's amazing. My players are my success story. I have players that are lawyers and doctors and moms and coaches and professional athletes. I have players that have top security clearance. I have players that have done so many things. And it's amazing to be able to build those relationships for over 20 years now. And currently with the team, I just received, I have an author and I have a graphic designer. It's just so exciting to be a part of my student athletes lives for four years and then for eternity. Right, that's awesome. And, and to, to go right off of that, what are, um, you know, if, if there's a time that you can point to that you've been, you know, completely overjoyed as a coach, um, what, what, what kind of experience does that look like? When I receive, so for my players playing overseas or my players that are coaching, actively coaching college basketball, when I receive a stat line where they've had like 30 points and 14 rebounds, it just gets me so excited because now that's that passion. That's that love that as a coach, you want to give to your players. So it's amazing. Or if it's something that we talked about as between a player and a coach and then you succeed or you use it. That's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to be your lifeline. I'm here to be someone you can always call on the phone and say, hey, coach, can I throw this at you? Hey, coach, what do you think about this? 
this. I am like, I am here. I am here forever. From the time I recruit you in high school until you do all of those big things in life, I'm here for it. Absolutely. And, and as you mentioned, you've, you've coached at several different universities and you're working with so many different athletes. So in your role as a mentor to young woman, um, what is the most important skill set or lesson you wish to impart on student athletes that you're working with? It is important for all of my student athletes, young, old, past, present, for myself, adaptability. We have to be able to bend, to fold, to flip, but not give up on the goal. So we keep pushing forward. One thing we have to learn is whether we're in a basketball game or whether we're going to work every day. It doesn't go the way we practice. It doesn't go the way we hope that the day is going to go. So as long as you're able to adapt, you're able to forever be changing, you're able to be flexible, you're good. You have to keep pushing towards your goal. And my story is not gonna be your story or her story, but at the end it's our story. And that's what makes it so remarkable. Um, so that's what I say, be adaptable. Don't hit a wall because it didn't go the way you want it to go. Thank you. That resonates with me. Like we've seen adaptability like never before. So, you know, I think that's a really valuable um, lesson that you've shared with us. Um, and my last question that I have for you is any advice that you would like to pass along to current student athletes, um, particularly our student athletes of color here at the university that you've made such a big impact on? Oh, most definitely. Use your resources. You are at the University of Richmond you are being given some of the best things that a university can give you. You are going to school with future CEOs. You're going to school with future doctors. You're going to school with future lawyers. Go outside of the Robin Center. Go outside of your field. Get to know other people because your degree, these relationships that you form right now, they're gonna open doors for you before you even get to the door. So use those resources that Richmond has for you. Be an open book, be a sponge, and soak it all up. Because at the end of the day, your fellow alumni are going to do great things. Wow. Thank you, Coach Ev. Um, we wish you so much success in, in your new career. Um, and we hope nothing but the best for your team as things continue to move forward. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad to be here.